Hello, it's Carrie with SSB. Today we're going to be talking about how to do an ink charge. So one of the things that I always recommend whenever you are having issues with ink flow on your printers is to do an ink charge. <clears throat> it's very simple to do. We're going to go into the Epson um, Resetter program. If you purchased your printer from me, then this program was sent to you um, along with the purchase. Okay, um, so you're going to go into your adjustment program. Of course, you would hit select. I don't have um, I don't have a printer, an L1800 connected right now. But you would hit select. You would select your printer, and then you're going to go to particular adjustment mode. And if you look right here under maintenance, you see ink charge. You're going to select OK. You're going to leave it on head ink charge. You'll select not increment waste ink pad. Okay, you've got to check the box, and then you're going to select ink charge and it'll go through the process and it'll run an ink charge. This is what I do, um, like I said, anytime that I have a uh, printer that's I'm having problems getting the ink flowing, then I'll do an ink charge. An ink charge is much better than doing multiple head cleanings. A head cleaning, um, of course, heats up your print head and it wears down the life on your print head, whereas an ink charge really doesn't. Um, it just flows the ink through. So it's always better to do an ink charge than it is to do a head cleaning. When I use my L1800 CISS cleaner, uh, this is what I do. I, I go through and I do a, a head ink charge to flush the ink out of the print head um, to get ready to shut it down. Okay, so this is how you do an ink charge. Hope that answers everybody's questions on how to do this. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can reach out to me um, by email at sassyvinylhtv at gmail.com or you can reach me on my website at sssvcustomtransfers.com and you can select the message us button. Um, I get thousands of notifications a day so if you message me or you leave a comment on my video I may or may not see it. Like I said I, I get thousands of, of messages a day. Um, and trying to keep up with all of them is a little bit hard. So the, the either sending me an email or messaging me via the my website are the two best ways to um, notify me. And those those particular messages, um, no notifications pop up on my phone um, at the top, whereas my YouTube notifications it just gives me a blank notification. And like I said, I get thousands a day um, from YouTube specifically. So I may or may not see it. So if you really need an answer, please reach out to me via the website or my email. Thank you so much.